Yeah, there is obviously a little bit of grass in the wicket. Um, then if they, uh, we've got to put up obviously a combination that's going to take 20 wickets on there. And uh, yeah, how are we going to go about it? Obviously, we'll have to go and plan and obviously, you know, work accordingly. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's greener. Um, I've, I've played all my life here and I mean, I've, I've seen similar, you know, obviously similar wickets and haven't done it much. So, so yeah, I think, you know, yeah, there's obviously a little bit of grass there, um, but I don't think it's going to scare one, yeah, you know, anyone away. But like I said, there is a little bit of grass. Um, I think the day is obviously hot, tomorrow is hot. So I think by the time the test match starts, it will be a little bit drier. So yeah, I think, you know, we could yeah, change this quite quickly. Yeah? It depends on the, obviously the type of wind that blows here as well. So yeah, look, I mean, by Friday morning, it could be a total different looking wicket. Yeah, it's going to come down to conditions at the end of the day. Um, look, obviously, you know, with a bit of grass in the wicket, um, yeah, who knows on Friday morning, you know, if the overheads are playing in, in, in favour, then you might obviously, you know, consider four, four seamers. But um, at the end of the day, I think, you know, our composition of, of three seamers and, and, and one spin has, has, has worked very well over the last sort of 18 to 24 months. And yeah, look, I think it's a good dilemma to have, you know, when you have yeah, all, all, all your fast bowlers fit and, uh, and also have Kassov, that's, you know, which, you know, yeah, that's been uh, bowling really well this past 24 months. Kassov is, is uh, you know, yeah, he's got an amazing record. Um, I think he's obviously, you know, settled in well with the, you know, the three seamers that he has working with him. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, he's a world-class bowler. He's, yeah, he's been bowling very well. And like I said, you know, He's been rolling well this past 24 months, so yeah, yeah, I can't see that changing anytime soon as well. I'd love to bet at seven. Um, it gives me a bit more responsibility and also gives me a bit more time, you know, to bet with you know some of the top order betters. Um, but look, at the end of the day, the selectors have to make that call, and uh, yeah, hopefully they make the right one. Yeah, look, I think you know, yeah, they have played most of the games at home, so it'll be interesting to see you know how they go. Obviously, you know, yeah, in South Africa. Um, look, I think it's a total different ball game, obviously, in South Africa, and uh, yeah. You know, yeah, we've got to have to obviously wait and see, you know, once they've passed the first test match in Cape Town. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, you know, yeah, we've got to control what we can control, and, and that's to make sure that we're in a good space. Um, our bet is on obviously good nick, and uh, yeah, look, uh, yeah, we obviously, we play the ball and not the man, so look, you know, yeah, we're going to yeah, respect obviously the Indian seamers, and uh, like I said, you know, yeah, we've got to do what we've got to do, and hopefully our betters can obviously control the runs and get the runs on the board. We want to play our best cricket. Um, we've got a goal, you know, to to win every obviously every series that we obviously part, you know participate in. Uh, 2015 was quite a disappointing one, obviously going there and losing there to them. Um, but look, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we play our best cricket, and obviously being at home, we want to make sure that we deliver. You no, know, yeah, on our home soil.